Hello everyone, welcome back to the 2018 Granny Square Crochet Along. Today we are making the Iris Granny Square, which is this little beauty. Um, we've got our four rows of double crochets and four rows of single crochets. So I just decided to alternate mine today um, with, uh, yeah, with a contrasting colour. Um, you could do it all in one colour, completely up to you. It would also look quite effective if you did a double crochet and a single crochet um, in one colour and then did the next two in a colour. Um, you are amazing with your colour colour schemes, colourways, um, so I can't wait to see what colours you're going to use for this. Um, so other than your yarn, um, just to grab your hook and your scissors and a cup of tea or coffee and um, let's have a look at how we're going to make it. Okay, so to start our square we're going to start with a ring. So I'm going to chain five and slip stitch into the first chain to make a ring. And there we go, I have my ring here now. And I'm going to chain three as a double crochet. And then I'm going to make three more double crochets into the ring. Two and three. And then I'm going to chain two for the corner, do four double crochet. Three and four. Chain two for your corner and then do another four double crochet, chain two and four more double crochet and slip stitch in your top chain to finish that round. So I'm just doing my um, slip stitch after doing my last uh, chain two for my corner and this just finishes that round and there we go. So we have a total of 12, um, sorry 16 double crochets in our square now with our chain two corners. So round two. I'm going to change colour and I'm going to change it in this very same stitch. Okay, so I've changed to my pink and I am going to work over the tail for this. And what we're going to do is in this very same stitch we are going to chain one and then make a single crochet in that same stitch which is actually the top of your chain three. So single crochet in that chain stitch. And then you're going to do a single crochet in each of the next three double crochets. One, two, and, oops, I missed that one. So one in each of these next three. Make sure you go into the right stitch and don't skip any. Okay, there we go. So we've got four single crochets so far. And then in our corner chain two, we're going to put three single crochets. One, two, and three. And then one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. And when you get back to the corner, when you get to the corner, you're going to do another three single crochet. So three single crochet in your corner. And then repeat this around. You're going to do one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. And then three single crochet in your corner one in each of the next four and three in your corner and then slip stitch to your first single crochet. And then I'm going to fasten off and um, I'll tell you afterwards where we're going to rejoin. Okay, so I'm just doing my slip stitch in my single crochet and there we go. And then I'm going to change back to my gray and fasten this off 
and then I will tell you where to rejoin your colour. There we go. Now, if you are sticking with the same colour, you um, want to slip stitch back to your last single crochet, which will be the last one of your corner. So you want to slip uh, slip stitch back to your uh, last single crochet in your corner. And as I'm changing colour, I'm going to join my new colour in this third single crochet of my corner. Okay? And when I've joined that, I will see you back. Okay, so I've joined my new colour, or my previous colour. I'm planning to do grey for all the double crochet rounds, so every other uh, round. And I'm going to do my bright pink or um, a bright green for my single crochet round. Um, <clears throat> that's what I've decided to do. You could just do it all in one colour if you prefer. Um, it's absolutely fine, whichever you prefer. And of course, working over your ends means less to sew in, even though I do actually quite like sewing in. I'm one of those crazy people. But you know that already that I'm crazy. <laughs> okay, so for round three, you are going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And then you are going to do a double crochet two together in the next two stitches. So that will be this one here where you did your original slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through the first two loops of a double crochet and then yarn over go into the next stitch yarn pull through and go through the first two loops we've done this a few times on recent videos you'll be left with three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three okay and we only do the double crochet two together on that first one because now we're going to chain two and then we're going to do a double crochet three together over the next three stitches. So go into the next stitch um, as you're going to do it as doing a double crochet. Pull through the first two loops and leave the last one on the hook. So remember the first loop is always there. And then yarn over as for a double crochet. Go into the next stitch. Pull through and just pull through the first two loops. Leave that loop on the hook. You've now got three. And then we do it a third time into your stitch, pull through and pull through two loops. You've now got four loops on your hook, one for each stitch and one for the hook. And then yarn over and pull through all four. And that gives you one stitch at the top, but three stitch posts down there. Okay, so now you are going to chain two after doing that three together and now in your corner in this next stitch your next stitch will be the center stitch of your corner three and you're going to do two um a a three double crochet cluster so essentially it's like a double crochet three together but each time you're going into the same stitch so it's classed as a cluster so yarn over go into that stitch pull through and then pull through two loops and stop. Do that again and stop with the last loop and once more and stop and then pull through all four loops. So exactly what we did here except we're going into the very same stitch each time and then because it's a corner you're going to chain three. Get some more yarn here. Okay, and then you're going to do another one of those clusters in exactly the same stitch to make your corner. So another three double crochet cluster and then pull through four loops and this is what you have for your corner. You have cluster, chain three and a cluster. And then you're going to chain two and you're going to do a double crochet three together over the next three stitches so that will be your last stitch of this three in your corner that will be your first and then the next two stitches one and two 
pull through those four loops and chain two. Do another one of those, double crochet three together. This will take you to the first single crochet of your next corner. Go through there. Keep my tails in here, saving me some work afterwards. And then pull through all four loops and chain, oops, chain two. And then we're here for our middle corner stitch. And you're going to do two clusters. You're going to do a cluster, chain three, and a cluster, and then chain two, and do another double crochet three together, chain two, and another chain two, another corner, and then repeat that round. And when you've finished, you are going to slip stitch, not into your chain, but in the top of that first double crochet two together, right in the top there, not in the top of your chain three. Okay, so repeat that around and I will see you at the end of this round. Okay, so I've fastened off and I've rejoined my pink in the top of one of the double crochet three togethers. Now you know I like to stagger my ends if I can, so um, I popped it over the other side um, onto a double crochet three together. Um, if you are keeping the same colour yarn, then just continue from where you um, left off, and that's absolutely fine. Um, this also, um, but by joining um, in a different place, it also eliminates this um, this starting chain three that we had. It will um, it will take away that look of when you can see it on every um, on every row as you go up. Um, it will mean that you won't see it quite so obviously because you'll have one here, one here, maybe one over here and one over here. So it won't be quite so obvious as this is where we started. Um, I am struggling with the light of my camera today and um, I hope you can see what I'm doing there. I'm just going to have a fiddle and come back to you. Okay, now I hope you can um, can see, um, see this clearly enough. I think it was a bit too bright before. Um, the sun is, um, is actually quite bright today. Um, straight through into my living room not so practical <laughs> um but nice all the same okay so this round is another round of those single crochets so we're going to chain one and then do a single crochet in that very same stitch two single crochets in each chain two space and one in the top of each double crochet three together so always two in the chain two space and one in the top of each double crochet three together. And then, uh, so it's one in the top of each cluster as well, and then three in your corner chain three space. One in the cluster, and then two in the chain space. Work around doing this, one in each stitch and two in each chain space, three in the corners. And I will see you at the end of this round. And there we go, at the end of round four. How lovely is this looking? Lovely. So now you want to um, fasten off and join your new colour one stitch back from your slip stitch oh sorry you want to slip stitch into your last uh, your first single crochet um, and then yeah either slip stitch back with your current colour if you're sticking with the same colour slip stitch back one stitch or rejoin um, join the colour into this stitch one back from your single crochet where you uh, where you've slip stitched Okay, so I've joined my grey back and I've just done a chain three for my first double crochet. And then, just as before, over the next two stitches, you're going to do a double crochet two together. One, and two. Chain two, do a double crochet three together. 
over the next three stitches. Chain two, do another double crochet three together over the next three. And one more. There we go. And then chain two, and then it's time to do your corner cluster, chain three, and cluster. So you know these stitches by now. So Going to do cluster. Chain three and another cluster. There we go. And chain two. And then you're going to continue with your double crochet three together all the way along and then do your corner cluster, chain three cluster. Continue with your double crochet three together. And then when you get around to this um, side where we began, you'll do your final corner and then you'll do one last um, double crochet three together. And chain two and then slip stitch into your top of this double crochet two together. So continue the same pattern all the way around and I'll see you to finish off. Okay, here we are at the end of round five. So we're on to another round of single crochet. So I've fastened off my grey and I've now rejoined into the top of a double crochet, two together, uh, three together around this other side. Um, if you're keeping the same colour you um, just are going to continue working where you slip stitched okay so I've rejoined in exactly the same kind of stitch over here so we are going to do just what we did before on the single crochet round chain one do a single crochet in that same stitch two in the chain two space one in the stitch two in the chain two space one in a stitch, it's one single crochet. Now it should be two in the chain, but look what I've done. I've missed my chains here, but I'm just gonna do it anyway because I am making up a big blanket. And when you're making up a big blanket, you don't wanna always rip out a whole row. And actually in the grand scheme of things, you can't always tell. So squeeze those two stitches in there. I could have undone it, it's not too far back, but I've just decided to go with it it's not going to make too much difference okay and then one in the top of this cluster three in your corner and then back to one in each stitch cluster and two in each chain space and don't forget three in each corner and I will see you back around the start where you're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet Okay, so I've done my last single crochet and then I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of that first single crochet and fasten off. And then it is time for our penultimate round. That's my big word of the day, penultimate. We have two more rounds left, so there we go. I love this. You've got so many... Um, so many colour combinations and things you could do for this. Love it, love it. Okay, so I know, I know I say that for a lot of our squares, but I do rather love this square. Okay, so it's time for round seven. So um, you want to slip stitch back to the previous single crochet, or you want to join your new colour into that single crochet just before your slip stitch. So that's where I'm going to join. Okay, so I've joined my uh, grey back again. And now we're going to do just as before. We're going to chain three for our first double crochet. And then do a double crochet two together over the next two stitches. So 
So one and two. There we go, chain two, and then continue in exactly the same way as you have on previous rounds. Do a double crochet three together. And basically each uh, row, you will be increasing by two double crochet threes together. You have one in this cluster here and one in this cluster over here. And that will be your, um, your row increase um, each, each time. So that's how these um, squares grow. Um, so don't forget, do that chain two in between your double crochet three together. And just work around in exactly the same way as you have done on the previous two rounds um, of double crochets. Uh, do my last double crochet three together of this side. Chain two, and then time for my cluster. So one cluster stitch, one cluster stitch, chain three, and a second cluster stitch. And there we go, chain two. So uh, repeat this around as before. Do your last chain two here and a slip stitch to the top of your double crochet three uh, two together okay so this is the end of round seven I've just um, slip stitched into my double crochet three together two together my double crochet two together and then I have rejoined um, my pink back in the same stitch and this is our last round folks if your square is then up to size this is the last round so, um, if you are continuing in the same colour, as always, just stay where you are. Keep your yarn where you are. So, we're going to do exactly the same as all of our other uh, single crochet rounds. We're going to chain one and then do a single crochet in that same, st in that same stitch. And then two single crochets in your chain space, one in the top of your stitch, two in the chain space, one in the stitch, single crochets, two in the chain space, one in the stitch, two in the chain space, one in the stitch, and three in your corner and then you are going to repeat that all the way around all the way around every side back to the beginning and slip stitch into your first single crochet and i will see you at the end of round eight and here we are at the end of our square. I love it, love it. And uh, if it's not quite the size you need it to be yet, then you could just add another row of single crochet around um, if you just need a small um, extra border. So there we go, the Iris Granny. Lovely, now you can tell probably, I've just grabbed something out and covered my table. You can tell I love it because I have a bigger version of it here. This, um, there we go, so there's about six inches there. Um, this part's about six inches. I've been working on this for um, a while now. I kind of pick it up and then I leave it and then I pick it up and have a go. Um, long car journeys is great for this. So I'm making a blanket for our bed um, and I'm using these beautiful pinky plum colours and um, it's just working up so beautifully and um, if I can get it out here it's getting caught on the table it is just so beautiful it's a sort of it's a, an acrylic yarn but it works um, and looks a little bit like a sort of cotton yarn so it is absolutely beautiful I love it and it's working up so nicely so just to show you you can 
work this little six inch square up into something quite big. This is, um, this would make quite a nice little lap gun um, at the moment. I don't know how big it is, but it would make quite a nice lap gun. Certainly keeps me warm when I'm working on it. <laughs> and um, hopefully it will be big enough for a double bed um, before we have too much cold weather, I hope. <laughs> so just to show you that there, that um, it does work up really nicely into um, a bigger square. So just keep going with it. Just keep going round, 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 round. And um, there we go. So if you have enjoyed this tutorial, if you found it useful and helpful, and uh, yeah, you've enjoyed crocheting along with me, then please click that like button just down there and give us a thumbs up as always. And um, hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And details of the Facebook group are in the description below as well. I can't wait to see photos of this and see what colours you've done it in, how you've made it up. And uh, until next time, just keep hooking and don't let that tea get cold. <laughs>